Hello everyone, and happy October! I've created a bit of a tradition where I play through a horror-themed game on this month, which is not only the month of Halloween, but is my birthday is on the 6th. So, for this October, I decided to play through a game that was made in 1995 for the Super Famicom, but it never saw a US release. That is to say, it was not released for the Super Nintendo. It is, however, without a doubt, the scariest game ever made for the Super Famicom. That's right. We're going to be playing Hong Kong 97. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, the game we're actually going to be playing this month is uh, called Clock Tower, and it was made by Human Entertainment. I'll go ahead and let the intro play out right now. It's a little slow, I'll admit. <laughs> No, not Clock Towel, Clock Tower. As I said, this was made in 1995 by Human Entertainment for the Super Famicom. It was never released in the uh, North America on the Super Nintendo, so but it is a horror-themed game, and we're going to check it out for this playthrough for October. So we'll start the game, and we'll see the intro to the game. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. Yeah, I downloaded a, a translation for this. It happened in September. Otherwise it would have been in Japanese and I'd not be able to read it to you. <laughs> Laura, hurry up. Whoever's saying that. We want to be there before sunset. Miss Mary? Yes? From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you've asked. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a very nice place. We're almost there, see? Jill, head for that mansion. <laughs> I'm not too far off, as you'll see when we start the game. So yeah, the character I play as is Jennifer. What a huge place. Yeah. The main hall's gigantic. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Yeah, the woman is Mary. I play as Jennifer, the black-haired girl on the right. The blonde is, uh, Anne, I believe, or Laura. The brunette is Anne, and the redhead is Lot, and these are Jennifer's friends. I'm now in control of this cursor, and I can use... you'll see when I... So I play as Jennifer, this is the girl here, we can talk to the other girls. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. And I guess that's all we can say to Anne. Let's talk to Laura. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. All right, well, there's not much of a conversation there. Let's try talking to Lot. It's the red-haired girl over here. 
I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Heh, <laughs> lots paranoid. And I guess that's the end of that conversation. The door over there is where Mary went. Can I examine the table? I can. And yeah, sometimes there's just stuff to investigate and nothing happens. I think I actually have to go this way first. And I can't go up the stairs yet. Yeah, it's a very slow-paced game, so there might be some heavy cuts. Can I go through this door? Guess not. Door's locked. And I can't go up the stairs. At least not yet. Because to go up the stairs, you have to get the mouse cursor to uh, turn to that interact icon. And then you select the stairs with that and hit the button, pressing uh, the Y button. And that'll make... Uh, Jennifer go up the stairs, but I can't make her do that yet. Pretty sure something was supposed to happen. I'll just keep walking. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Alright, now we can leave the uh, door. I push L, it'll make uh, Jennifer walk to the door and walk out. Now we're in a hallway. The main hall. We hear a scream and go back into the main hall. Girls? And come on, this isn't funny. And uh, the girls have vanished. We can turn the light back on. Show that off real quick. Interact with the light. Yeah, the other girls, uh, Laura, Anne, and Lot have disappeared. But where'd they go? And what was that scream all about? We can go up the stairs now. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave this part in so you can see how slow uh, Jennifer takes the stairs. Yeah, you'll be able to see for yourself why a lot of parts will probably end up being cut, which are just this. Jennifer very slowly walking to places. <laughs> I assure you, this is what you'll be missing when I cut parts. For now, let's head to the left, see if we can uh, search the rest of the hallway here. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> this part of the walkway collapsed, so I guess we're going back down. go down the stairs, I just highlight the stairs, press the button, and we'll just skip uh, Jennifer going down the stairs this time. Now Jennifer can run. If I tap uh, L or R, she'll start running. I want her to stop running though, because running will uh, reduce your energy. You can't see the energy meter. Well, you can. The picture of uh, Jennifer's face on the bottom left is your energy meter. It changes depending on uh, how much energy she has left. It can go from blue to uh, yellow to orange to red. And if you're out of energy, well, that could be a problem because not only will you be unable to sprint, you'll have to stop to rest. And if we're in any kind of trouble, 
we won't be able to escape that trouble and that would be bad. So let's head in here real quick. And there's a big pile of rubble here. I think I can get a rock. There we go. If I select here, I can get the rock. Pile of trash, wood, and concrete. Pocketed a rock. So now Jennifer has a rock. And if I stand still, uh, I'll show this off. Jennifer should stop, uh, should sit down to rest. Maybe I gotta press the X button to make her do it. There it is. You'll see Jennifer sits down. This is when you're resting. You'll recover uh, energy while you're sitting like this. And this will be where we're gonna stop the first part. And the second part, we'll, f we'll hopefully find one of the girls as well as encounter the uh, creature that may have chased them off. So yeah, that'll be in the next part. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next video.